Karachi's Fate Through Time by Syed Usama Tahir Zaidi The sea roared on the silent starry night its waves crashing on the silver shores the sand gleamed in the light of the moon and not far from this magnificent sea stood a great tower its head touching the sky through the single window of this tower two old men wrapped in silence gazed up at the sky the sea is ageless yet full of age it is timeless and has seen many ages it is a blessing and a terrible beast which keeps itself restrained it has swallowed empires towns kings emperors wicked and holy it remains and bears the changes of this world and it has hardly changed through time said the first old man in a very slow and hushed tone enunciating each word the second old man asked in the same hushed tone what does it say there will be a time when nothing will be safe the sea will change its color and the sky will burst asunder and throw down everything over the city at that time nothing will be safe and morals will die that will be the time when the sea will break from its boundary and rush over the city indeed you speak truly but who else will know the fate of this city life will continue for a long time in devil monuments will rise civilizations will fall and the sea will wash over it indeed it is counting the time waiting for the moment the morning seemed dim on this new day however life continued in the city indifferent to the weather people walked on the roads birds flew in the sky women busy in shopping men with grave expressions busy in their daily business everything seemed normal but despite the usual routine the city was lost in a blackout of crime envy and melancholy the people were racked and somewhere in the same city there was another world lost completely in the gloom of ancientness and poverty yet the sea had the news of everyone and it stirred at each cry of the destitute it rumbled at each call of sorrow for long ago the sea had heard a prophecy still the sea could not be allowed to leave its boundary at any moment we waited for the right moment we who had this knowledge we who had been posted here over this job from the start of the world the fate of the city was sealed this city full of color and darkness every day i had woken up with the hope to see my beautiful city full of happiness and peace people without trouble or worry each day i had opened my eyes in the hope that one day i would see my city free of the tyrants and evils and yet each day i had met with despair my life had passed in fear and poverty and now i stood at the turning point of my life my education was complete and i had established myself as a successful man in life today was the day i was going to join in a pure bond with the one i loved more than life i huzaifa was finally married to tania the blessings were given and then suddenly cries of happiness were mixed with cries of pain and agony i looked at tania standing in her red apparel and from her hand dripped a red gory liquid everything was getting dark and i saw a few men covered in black and as realization hit me a cry of pain escaped my mouth and i saw the world going black I walked towards the black sea under the dark sky. My life was at an end. I had forgotten the meaning of hope and felt weak. The pain in my heart was agonizing. I walked towards the sea and looked at its waves hitting the shore and I remembered the oath Tania and I had made at the sea. A tear trickled from my eyes and I screamed, "Today my life is yours and my heart will always be yours." we will live together and die when our world will end the sea will bear witness then i looked towards the sea the feeling of lost love hit me again and with a new gush i said today in the name of love rise and crush the evil then i felt blackness creeping over my mind and just before falling into oblivion i muttered o oh allah grant me justice I watched the crying of the man who had lost his parents, siblings, and the one 
who he dearly loved. He had said the magic words for which we had been waiting from centuries. The time had come. The spell had been uttered. The signs had emerged from over the sky. And so I and my companion, sea angels, began to strike the wall holding the sea in its boundary. The walls broke with a clamor, and the sea rushed towards this bold city like a hungry monster ready for supper. The city, which was full of darkness, despair, hate, blood, and crime was going to end. The people gazed towards the new trouble that was coming towards them. For a moment stunned, and then began the great commotion as people began to rush away screaming. Buildings went down and the people clung to anything that could save them. There was an explosion of news, news bulletins on the TV channels. People began to pray and started to cry, accepting their end has come. The water dragged everyone in. And after successfully submerging half of the bowl-shaped city, it began to spread over the other half. A young boy named Arshad Hakim watched all this happening as the water neared the foot of the hill on which the village stood. He began to pray to Allah for the safety of his small world. The sky began to rumble and clouds covered it. Arshad closed his eyes and kept praying. He loved Allah and knew that he listened to all who fought for good in the challenges of life. Those who prayed with a pure heart, the pure heart full of hope and love. The sky rumbled more furiously, but Arshad stood undaunted even though the sea had reached his feet. And it was without doubt the time for the end of Karachi had come. There was a sudden change in the signs and new command lay at our hands. It was unexpected indeed. We felt startled for a second, but for obedience we had been made. Thus we flew towards the point where the sea had reached and struck our staffs on the ground. The earth shook and the waves began to quiver and disappear under the surface of earth. It was the end of the great flood in this city. I wondered for a moment of why there was a change of command and then my gaze fell over a boy who had his eyes closed and his face emitted a pure light. Love had began the disaster and it was love which had finally ended it. I began to fly towards the sky. Behind me were my partners from the many centuries. One half of Karachi, once known as Krokola in the time of Alexander and then Debal in the time of Arabs, had been reduced to a barren land. A tower began to rise from the surface and behind this tower stood a long line of people in a ghostly form. It was time for the beginning of a new civilization. The ghostly people waved at the boy. The doors of the tower opened and dejectedly the souls began to walk through the door. They had lost their lives for this city. Now it was time for a long rest and the wait for the great judgment. Karachi was to grow back into its vivid colors in a matter of years. One thing was indeed true. Love is the beginning of a disaster and the end of it. During which a person faces the most difficult task of his life. The doors of the tower closed and it began to sink in the sea. One last message appeared in the sky, illuminated by the faint rays of sunlight. Do not let your love drown. Love is everything. Love is your code for this life. Love Allah and strive to protect your identity and your faith. Millions of eyes witnessed this message and many began to weep. While many heads fell in sajda for their great Lord, Allah Almighty, they had understood the meaning of their life and it was time for them to rise. The time had come for the people to rise and flood over the world to purify it.